a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel Mr. John Mayaki, a former Chief Press Secretary to Governor Gordon Obaseki, who previously served as Executive Director of Media under former Governor Adam Sushumule, he was also the Director of Communication and Media for Pastor Sagezi Yamu Campaign Organization in 2020 Gospel election. He also serves as the Chairman of the Edo State Media and Publicity Directorate in the APC Presidential Campaign Council. In an interview, he has explained why he declined to work for APC Governorship Candidate Neto Mondo Obolo. He revealed why he preferred Dr. Aswi Hadolo, candidate of the People Democratic Party, as a better prepared option to govern Edo State. All right, my wonderful people, before we proceed, I would like to welcome you back to my wonderful channel, Reality TGC, your home of news and politics. Thank you so much for joining us on today's news. If today is the first time of watching, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our videos to all amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for joining. So, guys, let's proceed. When John Mayaki was asked to give reasons why he said that, his party candidate, Neto Mondo Bobo, is not prepared to become the governor of Edo State. <laughs> he said that he have had the opportunity to observe Neto Mondo Bobolo from close quarter, and he discovered that Neto Mondo Bobolo lacks even the most rudimentary understanding of what governors entails. That Neto Mondo Bobolo has instinct only for politics. But unfortunately, the retrogression kind in which some so-called stakeholders are assembly and promise exclusive benefits which will come at the expense of the state in exchange for their support. As Netomondo Obolo has never engaged in discussion about important things such as policies, investment, attraction, and multiplication, and sectoral reform and upgrade. That even worse <laughs> is the fact that Netomondo Obolo is unable to inspire confidence and hope for the future, either in speech or appearance, that during a meeting, he easily subdued and brobeaten into silence that he's unable to set the stage intellectually or even offer any meaningful contribution. Mr. John Mayaki said that the leadership of the party can bear witness to what he's saying. That's not a moment of will really contribute to deliberations and even if they are too simple, that it is very clear that Snetumondo Bobolo is merely a tool used and marketed by a few political overlord to seize control of the state and regain access to the treasury. Not only that though, Mr. John Mayaki said that he have also listened to those who worked for his emergency as senator, who have also distanced themselves from him, saying that he is a used and done person, that he is not the type that appreciate people because he believe he paid people to support him and so he don't deserve anything further in governance. Hey, <laughs> my people don't be small way gay. John Mayak is that people say that Senator Mondo Pueblo doesn't keep to his word and he has experienced it too that he has never kept to his word and whenever he asks him he would claim he was too busy and overwhelmed. That is simply not the type of person prepared for governance. Hey, <laughs> my people don't be small allow. When John Mayak was asked if he considered his action as anti-party activities, he said yes. That he considered his action to be patriotic and he do not think that his party or any party for that matter should have a problem with that that every citizen is encouraged to prioritize the interests of the state over and above all other considerations so this is explicitly stated in the pledge that they are made to recite at state functions additionally joe Mayaki said that democracy protects the right to disagree now why he retained his membership of the party <laughs> he will speak very loudly about their fellow to present a good candidate to a do people just because of some people wanted a palliable man that they could detect to and control doesn't mean he should fold his arms or clap for them that he just discovered their leader are leading them wrongly and for their selfish purpose that same leader supporting him now had their own candidate they supported at the primary, but because superior interests outside the state fostered Mondo Oblo on the party, they negotiated their way into the project as against the interests of the state. And so, he decided to support a candidate who has the capacity and competence to develop a new state and take it to the world stage than someone who will simply come and satisfy his godfather with state resources. If that is anti-party, so be it. <laughs> My people love is more wallow. Conversing for Asi Hodalo. J. 
Mr. Mayaki was asked that it seems as an aberration that what is fueling his action. He said he's genuinely convinced that Hasik Vodalo is the best candidate in the race, that it is the only reasonable conclusion to draw from it. A truly objective analyst of all the candidates seeking the office, that he has the experience, education, temperament, and network to unlock opportunities in the state and combine human and material resources for sustainable growth and development. So this is not merely rhetoric, but as we hold a lot CV scream competency and accomplishment. As if they check out, they go see, say, as we hold a lot herself meritoriously at firm where only the best are given the opportunity to walk in the door. Joe Mayaki said that so they say I'm so say he doesn't engage in politics of dishonest, in which the people are lied to for partisan and personal advantage. He believed that if more people show narrow partisan interest for collective good, every party in the country will know to present strong candidates in election, not barely illiterate characters who are completely clueless about leadership and governance. <laughs> Joe Mayaki was asked if he has any plan of joining the People Democratic Party before the election. He said no, that he has no such plan, that he remain a member of the APC because it is a party he cared deeply about and wished for it to succeed. That this is why he considered it important to challenge and defeat the retrogressive actors strangulating internal democracy in the party and whose selfish desire for total control and domination is the reason their party is presenting a candidate for governorship position in 2024 who cannot complete a sentence in the English language without making ridiculous gaffes that land the headlines. <laughs> So he was asked that, having served as the media director of the APC campaign council in 2022 and working in APC government in the state, don't he considered his action as a bad example for youth in the party? So Mikey said that he thinks that the youth should emulate his action and not maintain a slavish devotion to an arrangement that is not in the interest of the state or their own future, that they must join him in this struggle to wrestle their party from the retrogressive actors who continue to manipulate and distort the internal selection mechanism to produce candidates whose only merit is that they will serve as puppets and take instruction. But no party can survive this way. And if such candidates make it into office, we certainly jeopardize the future of the youth. Membership of the party should never be to just heal in docility. Young people in particular must form a strong enough wind to compare the party to take their governance interests seriously, institutions and processes must be reformed to produce outcome capable of leading the party and the state into the future. So he doesn't think that the youth of his party are happy to have a candidate who lacks the basic capacity to express himself, even if they won't admit this publicly for obvious reason. He have interacted with the youth and they have voiced their frustration and misgiving too. But because of their fear of the consequences of disagreeing with the political leaders, they remain mute like the candidate. <laughs> My people of his matter. So he have to say this day that he will not live his life for leaders. That they have their life to live just as they do and take responsibilities for their decisions. So the young ones should be encouraged to speak up rather than allowing themselves subjugated by clueless leaders who simply want to continue to perpetuate themselves in power. And he was asked that if he thought that this is the best way to treat a party that he benefited immensely from, Joe Mayaki said that he thought that the question they should be asking is if the party has done right for them, for the young people that continue to breathe life into it, that through their personal network and resources, with the embarrassment of imposing an unaspiring Obobolo as candidate in an important election, he speaks of a man who could not complete a two minutes interview, even after he was handed a script to read from. He couldn't do it. That Sentomon Obobolo lacks the education and strength of character to inspire primary school purpose. And let alone the teeming youth of Edo State who seek a modern style of leadership. So he have emptied himself into the APC, constantly choosing to serve even when others deserted it because it was neither fashionable nor lucrative to do so. So unfortunately, this has caused some people to take his support for granted, including that of other like-minded young members of the party. And they continue to make appalling decisions they expect them to accept without question. So. 
he said no to this and after the election he will take stock and determine the future of the party because he have contributed more than enough to the party than he benefited so his support for the party has put his life on the edge and risks he has fought battle for the party with personal interest so right now he he doesn't care how apc member will perceive his action against the party candidates but he knows that a lot of members have expressed support privately for asu hodalo that many of them share their criticism of mondo Oblo. so it takes only a few days to know that senator mondo Oblo is completely empty <laughs> so the contrast between the mondo Oblo and asu hodalo of the pdp is too glary and they know a do people will settle for the obvious better candidates. <laughs> so because I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in our comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us.